Talking specifically about the rice sector, FAO has been using the South South Cooperation approach to promote the development of rice within the region, basically allowing countries from Africa to learn from other countries within the continent and also from institutions like the African rice. Through South South Cooperation, FAO has been able to promote a number of innovations and uh, experiences in the rice sector such as seed breeding, post harvest and that sort of. Je crois que le projet dont je viens de donner le titre a porté beaucoup d'appui. D'abord, il y a un volet de diffusion des nouvelles technologies et en même temps euh des renforcements de capacités. Renforcement des capacités que ce soit des producteurs des semenciers et des chercheurs. URI, as an organisation, has been doing research since 1960. URI Education is that part of URI that looks to take the knowledge generated from this research out to all those people in the world who might benefit from it. We welcome the partnership with FAO because one of the big issues we have is how do we reach out to the people who might benefit from the knowledge we have. Through our partnership with FAO, we are able to reach out to people, particularly in this course throughout Africa, and be able to meet their needs for the knowledge and skills they need to improve their rice growing practices. But while IRI has historically been in the Philippines, we are now moving to be a much more distributed, regionally focused uh, organization. We have regional hubs in Bangkok, in Varanasi in India, and in Nairobi in Kenya. This is so we can tailor both our research and our education to the particular needs of people in Africa, their particular climates, their particular varieties, and even the particular tastes of the people who live in different parts of the continent. This uh, project, our training here, is an eye-opener. It actually exposes us to many of the proven uh, technology that have helped the Asian uh, nation to attain self-sufficiency, especially in the area of breeding. So it has been our desire in the sense that in our own uh, country, especially in Africa, our focus has always been on how to, seek, how to obtain uh, food uh, security through increase in yield, but we overlook the aspect of the nutritional value. So with this, our training, it has actually helped us and opened our understanding on what we can do to upgrade the, new, the, new, the nutritional status of our variety. And it's also going to help us to actually put in place all the, all the, all the policies and programs that they have used here that will also help us to improve on our own uh, production in our country. As you know, development and innovation it's impossible without capacity building. When Korea had not enough resources, it had many focused on developing human capacity. Without the capacity building, Korea would still struggle to overcome rice shortage. Il y a eu de très grandes améliorations et la recherche doit évoluer. On ne doit plus s'arrêter au niveau fondamental où on est, mais évoluer par rapport aux méthodes, aux nouvelles méthodes. Avant, on prenait six ans pour avoir des nouvelles variétés, mais avec ce qu'on vient d'observer ici, déjà en deux ans, on peut avoir de nouvelles variétés. Donc le temps de sélection est réduit. C'est vraiment énorme et c'est très important pour l'évolution de tout ce qui est production risicole en Afrique. Yeah, last year, December, I went to Senegal for giving a presentation to about 11 country African fellows. I was greatly impressed by the, I mean, the efforts and to do something for the future, for their country's future and for themselves too. So this year, 
When I was invited by FAO one more time to come to teach again in Iri, I was more than willing to come here. Of course, I was right. After two days of talk and presentation, I found that they were even more, even more eager to do something for their future too. So I was really happy to have them there. And uh, we walked together. I, it was not just teaching, lecturing only. We worked together facilitating the vision. So we worked together. We, I, I think we find the right solution. If only Africa can be able to produce enough rice to become self-sufficient, then the monies used to import rice can be used for other economic development uh, initiatives such as the education sector, such as the health sector, instead of using that amount of money to import. Also, if Africa is able to uh, produce rice to become self-sufficient, the, the, the continent will be able to export rice to other countries whereby it can also earn them foreign, foreign uh, reserve.